Okay, so we get to the beginning, yeah. raw food. Mm -hmm. The history of raw food is part of what you've just given. Yeah. Um, but in today's day and age, I know, I, I've had my experiences. I, I, I remember cooking a very lovely dish of vegetables mm -hmm. and then I, 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 I tried to throw in a bit of raw onions yeah. and one of my nieces was just like, hey, Uncle Jimmy, I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> you know, um, let's talk about taste for raw food as well. Is there a way of matching these foods as well? Let's, yeah, I, I, like, I like the fact that you brought out the issue of taste mm -hmm, mm -hmm. against raw food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's look at uh, cooked food mm -hmm. against raw food when it comes to taste. Mm -hmm. Here's the situation. You get a chicken, which is these broiler chickens that mm -hmm. they do, there's the, that grow in two weeks. You know? Yes. <laughs> At least <laughs> a, green, a green vegetable will grow in three months. Uh -huh. <laughs> but a chicken will grow in two in weeks. Two weeks. And so uh -huh. when you boil it and you don't add salt, mm -hmm. okay, you boil it and you don't add salt, are you able to eat that? No. And if after you eat it, is it tasteful? It tastes bland. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the point is that what you're eating there is only a chunk of f fat mm -hmm. and blood with salt. So what you're eating basically is the salt. Really? Yeah, because that's why people are marinating and putting <laughs> ginger and garlic and, mm -hmm. and turmeric and all these spices just to try and find this, the, the taste <laughs> in the chicken. <laughs> really? But so when it comes to mm -hmm. an apple, Mm -hmm. Just imagine when you chew an apple, yeah. when you bite a banana, when you, when, when you bite a watermelon, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Just the, the throbbing taste that comes and the juices that your saliva produces. Okay, you sound it's so amazing. passionate about this. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. It's amazing. So, uh -huh. when it comes to taste, I think for me, raw food is the most tasteful food that we can have. Mm -hmm. And then, the advantage that it has is that it has the best you know, uh, nutri nutrition that you can ever have. Because in raw food, all, 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 all nutrients are alive and they're ready to work. Mm -hmm. But in cooked food, you will find that everything is dead, you have to revive it. Okay? Mm -hmm. By what you add to that. And actually, like you already said, after cooking the vegetables, mm -hmm. you throw in what? A bit of raw onion. Raw onion. Uh -huh. <laughs> the reason there is to find space for the nutrients to enter you. But the mm -hmm. thing is that the challenge that people have actually on cooked food is that they overboil vegetables. Mm -hmm. They over, like tomatoes, they overboil them when they're making their soup. Mm -hmm. They overboil onion and everything else. Actually, onion is not supposed to be cooked. Really? Tomato is not supposed to be cooked, okay? Mm -hmm. Cabbage is not supposed to be cooked. Mm -hmm. Some people have seen steaming lettuce, you mm -hmm. know? They are mm -hmm. not supposed to steam lettuce. Really? You know, there are things that you can't really, you know, uh, you know, cook. You can just eat them like that because they are edible in, in, in their state, in their raw state. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people, I don't know why it's, it's tradition mm -hmm. or it's culture that people always want to cook things. Mm -hmm. They always want to fry things. They always want to bake and do all these things mm -hmm. when these things can actually be eaten raw. Really? 